All right. So I have the Disney Princess Funko Pop collection. All of them are from the same collection, the Ultimate Disney Princess Funko Pop collection, except for one, which is from the Disney 100. And we will get there when we get there. Um, one thing to note is I am filming this on different days. So there may be different looks. I may have a different shirt on. I may have different hair. We don't know. Because um, I'm filming this as I get them. And then going to compile them all together. And the way that I'm going to compile them all together is not how I'm filming them. I'm going to compile them in order of their like premiere. So it's going to start with Snow White. It's going to end with Moana. And that's just how it's going to go. Um, so I may have different looks in between certain parts of this video. Just roll with it. <laughs> Just roll with it. I'm going to try to keep the same shirt. I'm going to try to keep the same hair. But the hair, at the very least, is a problem. I dye my hair and it grows out and it is not blonde anymore. But, um, yeah. Let's just get to the unboxing. Up first, we have the one who started it all. Snow White. <laughs> do, 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 All right, let's get her open. The way I just demolished these boxes. Okay, I love it. I love it. It's so cute. Um, the details in the pie. Like, you can see the little, like, fork stabs, I guess. I love it. Um, the little bunny is just so cute. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's holding, but it's like solid white. And I feel like I can't make a judgment on whether or not it should be solid white or whether it should be some sort of different colors. But it's solid white. It's cute. It might be a plate that he's holding. I don't know. Or a donut. Who knows? Um, but the little turtle carrying all the mugs and stuff. It's just, it's so cute. Um... As for Snow White, yes, her head does turn full 360, um, which is good because it allows for posableness. Um, but I love the details in the dress. I just wish, I don't know, I just kind of wish that we got to see more of the dress, but because she's holding the pie, it's hard to see. But, like, she's got the shoes with little bows on her shoes, and I love that. Um, the bow in her hair, I love, like, this shade of red with this shade of black because it really stands out, and I love that. Um, I think I think this is really cute. I think the details in the floor as well, like, it's like wood floor, and I love that. Like, it's all different sort of patterns, sort of like wood is. And I love that. I love, I love this. She's really, really cute. Um, yeah, I finally have a Snow White merch because Snow White tends to get very robbed, I guess, um, in terms of like, you know, merchandise, like, the Kinder Eggs in particular, which is where I get most of my Disney collections, 
Snow White is just not even an option to get. Like, it's not even like I'm not getting her. She's not an option to get. And we gotta show some love for the OG. Like her or love her. Like her or love her. Like her or love her or hate her. Um, you know, she is the OG. She did start it all. So there's gotta be some love for her. So finally, I have Snow White merch. Also, I loved Snow White as a kid. <laughs> I loved Snow White as a kid. Like, my room was Snow White and everything. Now we're going to do Cinderella. Number 1015. That's the side. That's the back. I really love that there's like gold on the box. Like I really do love that. I think it adds a sort of elegance to the pops in the collection. This is the first one I'm filming, so it's going to be really weird. Let's open her up. I love this. I love the details in this. Um, just the way her bangs go. Like, I love that. I love the bow in the back of her hair and how it's kind of like half pulled back. I love the little like sewing kit with the thread and the yarn and the basket over here. Um, I love that she's reading. We love, we love princesses that read. But I... I cannot get over how cute Jacques and Gus Gus are. It's really hard to see them. But they have so much detail in them. And I think that's such an interesting thing because it'd be so easy to just, you know, Cinderella is the main focus. Like, she's the main focus. We don't really need Jacques and Gus Gus to have, you know, all these details to them. But they do. Like, Jacques has his little teeth. And, like, his little hair coming out. And Gus Gus does, too. And they have their little hats and their little shirt. Like, Gus's little shirt that's way too small for him is there. And it's just their little button noses and their little big black eyes. I'm like, I love this. But I love the detailing on the base as well. The base kind of feels lopsided, though. Maybe I'm just imagining things. But, like, it's very clearly, like, a floor. It's really hard to see, but you can see, like, the grooves and the lines and everything, and it carries down over the side as well. This is just another fantastic Funko Pop. Um, I did think about getting the Disney 100 Cinderella, but... I'm I'm glad I went with this one. I am. I think I have a Cinderella in her blue ball gown over there. Um so, you know, having a Cinderella in her casual wear I like that. I like that I have this. I really do. I think I just I I love this Funko Pop figure. I do. Up next, we have Aurora. Now, when Aurora got shipped to me, she got shipped in a plastic bag, which is interesting. So we're going to pull her out of the plastic bag. Okay. So from the Disney Princess Collection, Number 10, 11, which is weird that she's so much lower than Cinderella, but whatever. Um, again, I love the gold. I love the gold over here as well. 
and Aurora. I I love this. Um, let's get her out of the box. Just demolishing everything. Here she is in her plastic. And now we're going to throw that over there. Oh my god, I actually love this. So Aurora is not my favorite Disney princess. Um but this figure. Oh my goodness. It's incredible. It's incredible. Okay. So first of all, the details in her hair. Just the swoop of the hair. The lines in the hair. The curls in the back. Her hair's got some heft to it, too. It's like, it's pretty heavy. Um, I love it. I love, similarly to the others, where... The details and the animals, the little squirrel and the little bird. Like, it's just incredible details. Um, and then even the details within the flowers in her basket, which is really hard to see. But rest assured, you get the little center of the flowers and everything. I love that. Um, I think if I were to have one gripe with this one is I wish that they would have put a little more thought and details in the flowers in the base. Um, because they're just kind of white flowers. And, like, yeah, they very clearly have, like, a middle center. But I almost wish the middle center was, like, a different color. Even if, like, just a different shade of white. Just to, like, really hammer that home. But we have the little like 3D rocks and everything. Just I love it. And she's got her bare feet. And oh, I love this so much. And I'm not even a huge Aurora fan. Like I got Aurora because the plan was to get the whole collection. So I had to get Aurora. But oh my goodness. I am... But I love this Aurora figure so much. I think she's absolutely beautiful. I think the details are there in a way that they weren't there with Cinderella with her kneeling. Like the details in her dress. Like you can see like the slip underneath her dress. You can see the corset and even like the little like cross X thing for the corset thing. And even, like, it's really hard to see, but you can see, like, even, like, the little, like, white of her collar. Um, I love this. I, I love almost everything about this Funko Pop figure, except for minor gripe being the flowers on the base. I wish that they had done a little bit more, maybe added a little bit more pops of color. I don't know, but that's just me. Um... Overall, I'm really, really happy with this Funko Pop. And up next, we have Ariel. She's so cute. I love her. Um, yeah. And like everything else, we got the gold everywhere. Box is slightly damaged. I mean, it's Amazon, so you get what you get I guess but yeah it doesn't matter because I don't keep them in the box <sighs> okay. there she is Okay. Hmm. 
head turns, <coughs> sorry, head turns like that. But I think honestly, Ariel's kind of the only one that I'm going to probably leave the head looking the way it came because then you can see her and Sebastian, which I love. Um, so some of the other ones, it's like a lot of the animals are hard to see because of the story, I guess, that the pop is trying to tell. But this one, I love it because you can clearly see Ariel and you can clearly see Sebastian. Like, you don't have to have it positioned sort of bizarrely to try to see both Sebastian and Ariel. You can see both of them, like, perfectly. And even if you wanted to, you can, like, adjust it, like, slightly type thing. But I think it's perfect. Um, I love the little details in whatever we're calling this. Like the little details with the little yellow flowers. And then we have this little star that has like a little bend here. Like... The movement is there, and I love that. Um, I love the smile on Sebastian's face. Like, you can't really see it. But he has, like, a giant smile, and I love that. Um, I love the detailing in the flower in her hair. Like, the movement, but the creases, and... The different, like, sizes, like, it's fatter down here and thinner up here. I love that. Um, the movement in her tail. Like, you can see that it, like, bends and everything like that. I love that movement in her tail. I love, and I do wish that this was on the front of the pop instead of on the back. Um, but we do have the star on the front, so I guess I can forgive it. But on the back, there's a little white shell. I love that. Um, I think it's really cute. And then we got the grass behind her. But the detailing in the rock, like there's dents in the rock. And there's like creases in the rock. And the rock is different sizes. I love that the rock that she's sitting on looks very realistic from both sides as well. It's not just the back, but it's the back and the front. Um, overall, I really, really do love this pop. I love the sand. Like, the sand look. Um, you know, it's a basic singular color, but it doesn't feel like a basic singular color. Like it feels like sand. Um, there's like movement in it as well. And I love that. Like the movement's very, very subtle, but it's really hard to see on camera, but... Yeah, I love the details in this pop. I love it. It's really cute. Um, yeah, I think she's really cute. Up next, we have... Belle! Now, one of the downsides of ordering from Amazon... You never know what you're going to get in terms of the thing. Um, the box. The top is like bent. The bottom is like cut type thing. Like it's just it's a disaster of a box. So luckily I don't keep the box. But it is. 
it, the downsides of ordering from Amazon. Um, but yeah, this box is really like demolished. It's like dented into like, but yeah. Do, 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 do. Let's get her open. She opens easier though, cause the box is demolished. Uh, for whatever that's worth. I'm so excited. Okay. I love her. I love the pink. And that's weird because pink is not the color that you would associate Belle with. Like, she's got her blue and white dress and then she's got her yellow dress. I'm, I'm trying to think of when she ever does wear pink. I think I need to go watch Beauty and the Beast again because I need to know when she wears pink. Anyways, um, her head does not turn 360. It turns slightly... Like, it turns side to side. Um, so, that's something to note. I love this so much because she's reading. I love to read. I don't read nearly enough, but I love to read. So, she got her book and she got her stack of books. And I love that. I love that the books are different sizes. I love that, like, they're not stacked perfectly. Like, it's really hard to see, but... They're kind of like turned slightly. So it's like, I don't know. I love it. Um, the dress is meh. Um, but I love the pink bow. I don't know why. I just love the pink bow. I love the detail in the hair, like the swoop of the hair and everything. I love that. Um, but what I want to talk about is I want to talk about the floor. Y'all, the floor. Um, we haven't gotten to the jasmine one yet. That's next. I have my gripes with the jasmine floor. I know, I'm filming these out of order. But <laughs> um, this, this is what I wanted the jasmine floor to be. So keep that in mind with the next Funko Pop. Because that is the next one. Jasmine. When I talk about the floor. This is what I mean by I want the floor like this. Um... Just the marble floor. I love that. But what I also love is that it continues into the bottom. Like the bottom of the base. It doesn't have to. Because theoretically it stands. It doesn't have to continue into the bottom. But it does. And I love that. I love that attention to detail. Um, yeah. Just the marble look of the floor. I'm like this is what I want the jasmine floor to be. <laughs> it's weird this is the order that it's happening in I have the like pre I can see into the future um and I know what the jasmine floor looks like <laughs> but yeah this is what I meant by the jasmine floor and what I wanted it to be but I'm so happy that we got it with Belle um I guess my only gripe with this is I wish it wasn't the pink dress now I know that there is the bell with the blue and white dress, I'm 98% sure that there's one with her in the yellow dress that I could have easily gotten. But I went with this one because, well, it's the Disney Princess collection, but also she's reading. And I love that. I love, I love, I love a reading princess. Give me a reading princess. Um, I just wish that it, I really wish it wasn't a pink dress because I feel like if anything, she only has a pink dress on briefly in the movies. And I mean, I guess for a lot of people that's like, oh, well, it's obscure and that's great. But I really wish it was maybe even the blue dress. Like, I don't, I don't know. But I do like the pink dress. I just, I wish it was one of the more iconic dresses of Belle's, I guess. Um... But yeah, I do like the pink bow, though. I think the pink bow really goes well with her brown hair. Um, so, yeah, I like this little Funko Pop. She's cute. She is cute. 
I like it. Next up, we have Princess Jasmine from the Disney Princess Collection. Jasmine. Again, the gold, it's 1013 for reference. Um, the gold on the back as well. I love it. I love it. It's, <laughs> it's more of the same. Um, let's get her out. <laughs> is jasmine in the plastic and we're going to pull her out of the plastic okay that's kind of generally what she looks like um so first things first i'm going to start with Something that I really like about this, again, the attention to details, the way the hair is styled. Um, so you can see that we got her hair tied up here and tied up here. Up here, it's a lot looser. It's a lot, you know, what you would imagine loose hair pulled back to be like. And then same type of thing with the bottom where it's like loose hair, what you would expect. But right here in the middle where it would be tied with two ties, it's like tight. And it's like what tight hair would be like. And I love that. I love her headband. Um, I love it. I love the costuming. I think giving her her iconic two-piece costume is great um I like the flower that she's holding I guess um <sighs> now we have the carpet and the table with the little like jars and stuff and some pillows at the back and I like it um I also like the white of the base my only gripe with it would be is I wish the white base kind of had more of like a maybe like a marble type look to it like where it didn't look like it was like just a white base with a carpet on it. Like I almost wish they made it look a little bit more like a floor. Maybe give it like maybe like a little like shimmer shine. But like obviously not really like really shimmer shine. But like depth I guess to the floor. Because it just looks it's hard to see. But it like it just looks like. A white base and I don't know after like Cinderella and Aurora and if I'm being honest I don't know what other ones those are the only two I'm opening today but um it just the base almost feels like a letdown I think that's my issue I wish that they had given like the base more of like a floor look, more of like more life, I guess, rather than just basic white. Um, I will admit, though, that the white does contrast the blue carpet really well, which I like. And I <laughs> cameras are not friends, but I think the white floor and then the blue carpet it just it really allows the carpet to pop I do kind of wish that they made the carpet different than the blue because her outfit's blue and then we have this like blue pillow and yes they are different shades of blue 
but it's just a lot of blue happening on here and I almost wish that they had gone with a different color either for the pillow or for the carpet or for both honestly if we're being honest um but overall I mean she's still really cute I still really like her um all right and next up we have Pocahontas 10.17. Pocahontas. Now, there was two Pocahontas's. I chose this one because, well, it had the little animals and the base, and it was also cheaper. So, yeah. Let's get her open. Well, I demolished the box. Well, the way I pulled her out of the box, she fell out of the plastic right away. So, we're just kickstarting it off. I love it. You got Miko. You got Flint. I love it. Um, I love this, like, colors of the wind effect that goes, like, around the back and everything. It's, like, incredible. Like, the little leaves in, like, the pink, like, swoosh. I love it. I love her hair. Um, there is some like white marks in her hair it's hard to see because they're very minor but it's at the back anyway so it's not too bad um I love the detail in the base is this supposed to be like a tree trunk like it kind of feels that way but it's got like little like spiral like circles in here and it's got like different textures and different colors all around and even at the bottom there's different colors I love that um I love the details in Miko and Flint so much they're so cute here <laughs> eee, they're so cute though um but the details in her dress like the like I'm blanking on words. Um, just like the little minor details and everything. Like, it's incredible. I love it. Um, head turn test. Her head does not turn all that much. Um, which I guess kind of makes sense because you have the colors of the wind basically like imprisoning the hair. Um... So her head doesn't turn all that much. The others seem to. We're still waiting on Rapunzel. Um, and this is kind of a spoiler alert for Merida and Moana. And Mulan and Tiana. <laughs> I'm forgetting who I'm doing. I'm filming these all out of order, by the way. Um, so Pocahontas is actually like the second last one that I'm filming. But <laughs> yeah, her head doesn't really turn all that much. Um which is okay. I mean, I don't need it to turn. I think, like, head position-wise, like, you can see Miko and Flint really well, which I love, because, like, some of them, it's hard to, like, see all the things around it, like, when you have it positioned, but I think Pocahontas does the better job, I think, out of, like, all of them, so far anyways, of being able to showcase, like, the look of Pocahontas, but also, like, Miko and Flint as well. Um... Which I really, really like. I really like, I like that. Um, yeah. I'm happy that I got this one instead of the other one. Because like I said, the other one, it had like more of like the colors of the wind type thing. But it didn't look like she had a base. And there was no Miko and Flint. And I loved them. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I really love the attention to detail in this Funko Pop, especially in the base. I love that. Um, but just like even the different leaves and the different sized leaves and everything like that in like this colors of the wind thing. I love that. Um, I just noticed there's a chip in the color of the wind type thing up here, but yeah, it's minor and it could be another leaf, I guess. Um, like I said, all the imperfections with this one are at the back, like with the white 
marks in her hair and um, the chip and the colors of the wind thing. It's all at the back, so it doesn't really make a difference to me. But um, yeah, I mean, overall, I kind of love her. Up next, we have one of my favorite Disney princesses, Mulan. Ah, the lighting is really weird. Mulan, Mulan, Mulan. Perfect. All right. Let's get Mulan open. I'm so excited because I love Mulan. I go back and forth between Mulan and Tiana being my favorite princesses, but I have a soft spot in my heart for Mulan. This is really annoying. Mulan does not want to come out of the box. <laughs> come on, Mulan. We got to review you. Get out of the box. <laughs> Her head's already turning. Okay. Throw that over there. All right. Love that. Okay. So first off, her head. Does it turn? It turns to the side, like 90 degrees to the side, but also like basically 180 to the back. This is some demonic look, I tell you. Um Okay. I love everything about this. I love everything about this. Um, okay. So first off, the floor. Love the floor. I love that it's like two different tones. I think maybe this is supposed to be like a... I'm trying to think of what it's supposed to be. It's very reminiscent of something. Um, but yeah, I love the two different textures of the floor, both of them very detailed in their own way, and I love that. Um, I love the fact that we have her hair on the floor while she's also holding hair. Um, it's just, it's so iconic. It's so iconic. I love the sword. I would just wish maybe... We got in a little bit more detail, but the sword is like flimsy. I wouldn't play with it too much though, because it'd probably break. Um, but we have like the sword holder. I don't know what it's called. And the sword, I love that. Um, I love the details in her dress. Like, I love that we can see the details in her dress, which is not something I can say for a lot of the princesses, um, but the details in her dress. Oh my gosh, like this, 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 this is Mulan. Um, I love like the swoop of the hair, like, whoosh, like it feels like maybe like the wind's blowing or something like I love that I love the little bang that she has here that's adorable um yeah I mean this is such like an iconic scene in the movie and I love that we have it immortalized in a pop but I just noticed the back she's got her bare feet that's adorable I love it one, two, three, four, five. Guys, they paid attention and gave her five toes on each foot. I cannot. That's, <laughs> I don't know. It's the little details that make this pop so spectacular. Like, <sighs> I love this so much. Mulan's like one of my favorite Disney princesses and <sighs> I love it. I love it so much. It is so cute. I love it. I love it so much. It's, it's chef's kiss. I love it. Oh, she's so cute. 
I, I love everything about this. Honestly, I do. Next up, we have probably the only one, let's be real, it most likely is the only one that is not from the Disney Princess Collection, and I will explain why I made this choice in a minute. And we have Tiana. Now, Tiana is from the Disney 100. Um... Number 1321 for reference in the Disney 100. Um, I love the look of this box. Um, no, it's not why I got it. Um, but you got like the shine for like the 1321 and for Tiana down here. It's just like a diamondy shine. You can kind of see effects of it. Um, but even on the back, um, where you got the diamond shine for the Disney 100 and the diamond shine around her picture and the diamond shine up here, just a lot of diamond shine. Now, what is interesting about this is I guess it's not released by collection like the others, um, because it is literally just Tiana's picture on the back and then over here in this little diamond thing it says magic and transformation um so yeah that's that um and then you even get the little diamond shine here i i just really love the choice for the diamond shine on these let's get her open and then I will talk about her and then talk about why I chose this one rather than the Disney Princess Collection Tiana. She really does not want to come out. This is her in the plastic. And we're going to pull her out of the plastic. It's so loud. Ugh. And this is what she looks like. In the back. Now, first of all, absolutely love this. I love the shimmer for the magic because you know that's what it's about when the princesses get their dresses transformed and there's that magic. It's very reminiscent of Cinderella, one of the most iconic scenes from Cinderella, but we did have it with Tiana as well and we have that shimmer magic and now it is really shimmer. Like you can't really tell but there is a lot of shimmer and it carries through all the way to the bottom of the base, which I do love that it comes on a base too. I appreciate that. Um, I absolutely love her. Like, I think it's a simple pop, especially in comparison to the Disney Princess collection. It is a very, very simple pop. There's nothing else but Tiana and her magical transformation. Um, but honestly, that's what I love about it. Um, I love that we got her little crown. I love that her hair is like in like that bun, but you can even see like the little band that would like hold the hair in the bun. Um, and then we got her hair coming down the sides of her face and the earrings and just the dress and the flowers in the dress and even like the stem, I want to say it is, of the flower kind of goes under the transformation thing to make it like consistent. I just, I love this Funko Pop so much. Now, why I decided to go the Disney 100 route with Tiana rather than the Disney Princess route. Um, I think because I just love this look of Tiana. And it's not that I don't love the blue dress that she comes in with the Disney Princess collection. But 
when I think of Tiana, this is the look I think of. And I just, I love the idea of the magical transformation. Um, it's why I almost got Cinderella as the Disney 100, but ended up bailing on that. Um, I just, I love it. I love it. And I wanted a magical transformation dress one and I could have done Cinderella but like I said I already kind of have Cinderella in her ball gown over there and like I said when I think of Tiana from Princess and the Frog this this is the dress this is the dress this is the style this is everything that I think of when I think of Tiana so when I saw the Disney 100 version I was like, I have to get her. I have to break the pattern of the Disney Princess collection and get the Disney 100 Tiana. And honestly, I regret nothing. All right. So next up, I have Rapunzel. Now, she came in this protective plastic case, which I was not expecting. Um, I kind of love it, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> um... But yeah, let's get her out of this plastic protective case. It's snug. Okay, I can go over there. Here she is out of the protective case. And then... Maybe I should have left her in there. Um, she is number 1018 um, in the Ultimate Disney Princess Collection. But let's get her open. I already see Pascal on the top of her head and I love that. Um, I feel like Rapunzel more than any of the other ones so far benefits from being out of the box. Because in the box, you can't really see Pascal on her head. Let's get her out. Oh. Oh, I already love this. Okay. So her hair, unlike all the other ones, her hair is like shiny. Like, it's really hard to tell, but you can kind of tell because the light is reflecting. Her hair is shiny. Oh my goodness. Which kind of adds to the effect of, like, her hair glows when she's, like, healing people. I love that. I love the details on Pascal, even, like, down to, like, the little grooves in his back. It's really hard to see. But, like, on his head and down his back, it's, like, little, like spikes and everything like that I love that I love his little face his little mischievous smile I don't know why it's so hard to capture on camera it is so hard to do um I love the details in her dress like the little crisscrosses um very much reminds me of my Polish dancing days um the crisscross along the bodice very much reminds me of that and I love that they got the details of that I love that they got like the little ruffles on her sleeves it's really hard to like just capture the details but I love that her hair goes all the way around one thing I'm not a huge fan of with the hair um in this regard is I don't know whether it's just this version or whether it's all the Rapunzel versions but it's like split it's almost like we got two different hair things like you can kind of see the split um in person it's a lot more noticeable like it's like oh well we need more sculpting okay let's just add a piece and I really wish that they had like blended those together a little bit more um but I love that it goes all the way around She's got her bare feet, which I love. Um, but the one thing that I love so much about this is the floor. Um, we've done quite a few of these already. 
And one thing to, that I will, that you will notice is I talk about the bass a lot. Um, sometimes good, sometimes bad. Um, but this one, I love it. It's like, first of all, around the bass and everything, it's like grooved. So it's like two, not like two layers, but it's like, it's got definition type thing. But it's got like different patterns. Like here it's just like a purple. And here it's got like stripes with the like sun patch and everything. And just even like in the floor part, it's really hard to see. And I really wish I could make it better. Um, but it's like amazing. But even like it's going to be really hard to see because of the fact that the camera is the way that it is. But Rapunzel is standing on like a circle with like a flower. Um, I kind of wish that it was the sun because that's sort of the running theme. But it's like an etched out like flower that she's standing on. It's really hard to see. Um, in terms of spinning the head... Her head does not spin. Um, so far, because I'm doing this out of order, I have opened pretty much all of them and all their heads spin. Rapunzel's does not spin, and I think that's because of all this hair. Um, but I am okay with that. I don't need her head to spin. I just love this hair so much. I love the shiny hair. I did not think I was going to be this obsessed with the shiny hair. But I am obsessed with the shiny hair. Um, oh my god, I just love this Funko Pop so much. But like I said, Rapunzel definitely benefits from being out of the box. Because in the box, you can't see Pascal. Like, he's covered by the box. Um, so out of the box, you definitely get the Pascal of it all. Him sitting on her head with his little swoop tail, his little swirl tail. I just noticed that too. His little tail swirls, and I love that. Um, yeah, I love that, like, the bangs kind of go over her eye a little bit. Like, I love that. Um, I love this one so, so much. I cannot express how much I love this one. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. Just, like, all the details from, like, the floor to Pascal and everything around. I love... Yeah, my only gripe is the hair and the split that is very evident, which I'm not sure whether it's just this Funko Pop that I happen to get or whether it's all the Rapunzel Funko Pops from the Ultimate Princess Collection number 1018. Either way, um, love her so much. All right, and next up we have... Merida! Merida from the Disney Princess Collection 1022 for reference. Um, again, we got the gold, we got the gold everywhere, gold, 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 gold everywhere, golden, golden, gold everywhere. All right, let's get Merida open. in the plastic we are going to get her out I love it I love it that's the spoiler alert I love it all right so first up, the base. We got our green grass. We got some grass poking up everywhere, even at the back. Um, and then we have her little target practice thing. And she's got her little bows and she's pulling a bow out of her quiver. Is that what it's called? And then she's got her arrow 
she's got she's pulling an arrow out of her quiver and she's holding her bow there we go it's been a long day I love it I love the details on her dress though not entirely perfect I do wish that maybe there was a little bit more details especially like with the waist and Is that supposed to happen? Okay. Um, anyways, got sidetracked. But like in the middle, you can see that there's like a hint of a circle to be like the belt buckle loop thing. Kind of wish they made that a little bit more um, evident. What else I love about this? Her rosy cheeks. Oh my goodness. I love this. I love this. I love it. Um, she's a lot more paler than the other Caucasian white princesses. Like, she's a lot more paler than they are. And therefore, you can really see the rosy cheeks, um, which I love. But probably my favorite thing about this Funko Pop is the hair. Though I do question the look of the hair on some level. Okay, guys, I might have gotten a really bizarre one, but that's okay. It's from a distance you can't really tell. But you can kind of see parts of, like, the craft hair. That's my fault. I bought it at the store. I didn't really pay attention. But, <laughs> um, but it's just, it's a lot of hair and the details within the hair, you can really tell that the curls are very, like, defined, which is a big part of the character Merida's, like, overall look is that hair that is wild and unruly and it's just, it, it's what makes her so damn beautiful. Um... And this Funko Pop, I think, does the hair perfectly. Even, like, out here, it's, like, it's, like, wider out here than it is back here. And it swoops and it's, it's just a lot. And I love it. I love it. It is absolutely perfect. I love the hair on this. I was not expecting to love this Funko Pop as much as I did. But, oh, my goodness, I love it. I love that we got the hair swooping over the bangs. Oh, it's just everything about the look of this Funko Pop is kind of amazing. All right, so up next, you might think it's Moana based off of what I said, but I caved. In the last minute, I caved while I was waiting for Rapunzel to show up. I caved and I went and I got... Anna and Elsa. Now, while they technically aren't official Disney princesses, or are they? I feel like they're not. Um, and Raya is, and I said I was not getting Raya because I'm not getting Raya, guys. Um, I was like, I have to. Um, so we're going to start with Anna because on Amazon it says Ultimate Princess Collection. It's not part of the Ultimate Princess Collection. It's part of the Frozen Collection. Like, literally, it's part of the Frozen Collection. It does not say Ultimate... Like, it doesn't say Disney Princess like all the other ones do. It says Frozen. But it does have a base with creatures, which are really hard to see. But, um, so I guess it kind of fits the theme of the Disney Princess Funko Pops, which have the bases with various different things. So, we're going to start with Anna, even though Elsa is older. But Elsa is also technically a queen. So is Anna. But, yeah, We're starting with Anna, because my rules. Um, let's get her out of the box. Let's get her out of the box. I'm so excited. Out of the two, Anna's, like, not my favorite. But I do still love Anna. We're throwing the box over there in the plastic. And 
we're just making a butt ton of noise. And we're throwing that over there too. She is so cool. I love it. Okay. So we're going to start with the base. Um, the base is very reminiscent of like Aurora um, with the grass and even kind of Merida. But I don't know. I still love it. I still love the brown with the green grass. Like I still love that. The two-tone grass. I love the ducks. Y'all, the ducks. So we're going to start with the big duck because ironically the big duck is my least favorite. So the big duck is behind Anna. Um, and he's just sort of a simple like brownish color with his little beak and his little black eyes, which I love. Um, but they did get the details in like the fe like in the feathers and the wings and the feathers and the the butt. It's really hard to see on camera and it's driving me nuts. That's the theme of this whole video. It's hard to see the details. Um, but the little ducks. Oh my goodness. So they're yellow little ducks and they have their little beaks and they have their little eyes. But there's like brown on them. There's like brown on their head and brown in their wings and... They're a lot less detailed in terms of the wings comparatively to the big duck because, well, they're little. But there's still so much, like, details in the ducks in terms of the coloring. Um, but while we're on the subject of the ducks, Anna's hands, I think, could have been better. They almost kind of look sloppily put together. Um, and by comparison to the rest of them, and I know it's not technically the same collection, but by comparison to the others, I'm like, the, the hands feel meh, but I guess it's like a minor-ish detail. Now, the dress. So we have the skirt of the dress, which I love. I love that they got the details, um, of the pattern and everything in the skirt. Again, it's really hard to see let's see if I can find that's probably the best we're gonna get guys um but just like the details of her skirt um her bodice is a lot harder to see because she's holding the duck but from what I can tell they did a pretty halfway decent job with it um yeah, it's just one of those things that I wish we could have gotten to see more of it. Um, but she is holding the duck, which I do approve of. I do like that. Um, now, I love that we got, like, the bangs. Like, the different, like, textures in the bangs. I love that. I love that we got the, like, detail of the braid around her hair. I love that. Um... We even got the white streak that carries through into the bun on top of her hair. But it's like the little like clip with the ribbon at the back that I absolutely love. Again, details are so hard to see on camera. Um, but like they got like the details in like the clip and everything like that. It is really hard to see and it's driving me nuts but it is so pretty and I love that um her head does spin she may not be part of this collection but her head spins almost all the way around it does get stopped because of the ribbon and the duck um but if you want Anna to be demonically possessed you can have that <laughs> I love that I love that I I just, I love the details in her dress and I love the details in the duck, um, the details in her hair, in the like clip with the ribbon. I love that. My gripe is her hands. They're so, it's almost like, you know, you're working on a project for school or whatever and you got like all of this done and it's perfect. And then like you get to school and you're like two minutes away from handing it in and you're like, 
oh my gosh, I forgot to give her arms. And you're like, there. And I don't know, I expected more from a Funko Pop. I really did. I just noticed she has a necklace too. Um, which is really, really hard to see. I'm not even going to bother showing it because you're not going to be able to see it. But it's there. It's little. It's a small detail. It looks better than the hands. Um, yeah, I begrudgingly kind of hate the hands of this Funko Pop. But otherwise, I do love it. I do love it. Um, I know. It sounds like I'm like ragging on it, but I do like it. So there's that. Now we are moving on to the big sister. Elsa! Now, Elsa is from the Disney 100. The only other Disney 100 that I have is Tiana. All the other ones come from the Ultimate Princess collection, except for Anna, who comes from the Frozen collection. But I have another Disney 100, which is Elsa. And I have my issues because I wanted Frozen 2 white dress Elsa. But all the reviews seem to be very bad for that Elsa. Like, people are like... Her arms aren't attached properly. The cape is broken. And I'm like, if I'm spending that kind of money, I don't want a dem demolished Funko Pop. So I went with my second favorite option because I could have gone with the other Frozen one, which is Ultimate Princess Collection. Um, but that's her coronation, like, crown and dress. And while I do like that look, it's not my favorite Elsa look. Probably my least favorite Elsa look. So I went and I found the compromise, the blue dress. Um, and yeah, Disney 100. So I have another Disney 100 one. Um, and like the Tiana one, there's nothing on the back of the other stuff. It's just the moment. So the let it go. <laughs> I'm I'm not a Dina Menzel, so I'm not going to even try. But, yes. So, magic and transformation, that's the theme of the Disney 100. I do love the sparkly, shiny, platinum look that exists on the Disney 100s. Like, at the bottom and the number of the Funko Pop, which is 1319, by the way. Some of them I've been saying and some of them I haven't, so. Oops. <laughs> But it's like the 1319 sparkles here, the Disney 100 here, and the thing. I love it, I love it, I love it, but there's nothing that sparkles. Oh, wait, there is. No, there isn't. I lied. <laughs> Anyways, let's get her open. Um, one thing to note that really kind of irks me is the side that I displayed does have a slight dent. It is a slight dent. Um, and if you watched my Agatha Harkness video... You know it could be a lot worse. <laughs> and I just realized that I have Agatha Harkness in some of these and not in others because of when I unboxed them. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. <laughs> I was not waiting to unbox all of them. Man. Ooh, she's double plastic. I found another double plastic. Now I'm trying to remember if Tiana was double plastic. Maybe she was. But Agatha Harkness was double plastic. <laughs> and I made a whole fuss about that too. But she's double plastic all the way through. Which is cool, I guess. I do wish that she had a little bit more of a standing thing, but maybe she will stand. I don't know. Um, first off, her head does not turn. So that's where she differs from the Tiana 100, where Tiana's head does turn. Elsa's head does not turn. That's okay. I don't need it to turn. I love her. She's so cool. I love it. Um... First off, do I wish the dress was sparkly? Yes. And I think there is a version where it is sparkly. It's like the like sparkle or diamond edition. It, it costs 
to get the sparkle, and I don't care. <laughs> I am not doing that. Um, so she's got a little bit of magic coming out of her hands. It's really hard to see. But it's like the clear magic coming out of her hands. It's really, really, really hard to see. There it is, kind of. She got it coming out of both hands. Um, the back of the dress, it is like the blue and then it goes to like the clear, which I love. That sparkles, which is phenomenal. Um, but there is so much detail in the back of this dress. I hate this camera so much. I wish that you guys could see it. Um... But it's like different patterns and snowflakes and everything. And I love that. I love that so much. Um, but the sleeves also have the details. Um, it, the white detailed pattern. Again, it's really hard to see. But they have it. Um, but it's the hair. It's the hair. Guys, it's the hair. So, if you've seen Frozen, you know what this scene is. You know the let it go scene. You know where, you know, it's all coming together. She has just let her hair down type thing. If you haven't seen Frozen, what rock have you been under? It's on Disney+. Plus. Go watch it. Oh. <laughs> um, but it's like her hair in the back is like all different like layers and different textures and I love that I love the little snowflakes the little random snowflakes like there's one little random snowflake up here and then there's some in the braid just the little snowflakes they're so cute but then we have like the bang over here like I think this is amazing. <laughs> I think this is such an amazing Funko Pop. I think, you know, it's hard to compare her to the rest of the Funko Pops that I have unboxed in this collection because she doesn't belong in that collection. She belongs in the Disney 100 collection, which is the collection that Tiana is in. I think... <sighs> I really do, I really do love Elsa. Um, I just kind of wish that we maybe got a little bit more of the magic element. Like Tiana's, you can really see um, the magic. I'll actually bring Tiana up. So like Tiana, you can see the magic all the way around. Like it's just, it's swirling and it's sparkling and you can really see it. And I love that. Um, but with Elsa, it's very subtle and it's very, it's very subtle. And I wish that it was a little bit more, I guess, in your face. Um, I guess what I will say about it is that it does carry on into the bottom of the dress, like to do like the cape thing. Um, my sleeve is getting caught on the arm thing but um overall though I really do love this one I think when I think of the other ones that exist um obviously the coronation one has the base and everything like that but in terms of outfit it's not my favorite Elsa outfit but I really do wish the white um frozen two dress didn't have horrible reviews that outweighed the good reviews because I would have much rather gotten that one um and maybe that's why I'm a little bit sour on this one but I do love it I do love it I just wish that maybe we could have gotten a little bit of sparkles I don't need a whole lot but just a little bit in the dress because it's just sort of a regular blue dress and I'm like it's it's got some sparkles guys it's got some sparkles um but I guess 
they have to make their money somewhere. And how can we charge more for a sparkly dress if we already have a version that has sparkles on the dress? I digress. I do want to see if it stands, though. So I'm going to test it on my desk. I'm not going to test it on the dresser. She does stand. She does. She does stand really good. Um, I was a little skeptical. I think it is the cape that helps balance her out. Um, but, yeah, she does stand, so... The bar is low. <laughs> the bar is low, guys. Do they stand? Because those ones don't. Scarlet Witch, Captain Carter, they don't stand. Asha barely stands. <laughs> but Elsa does stand. Her head does not turn. So she's like Rapunzel in that way where the head does not turn. Um, but yeah. And last, but certainly not least... We have Moana! Moana from the Disney Princess Collection 1016 for reference. And like all the other Disney Princess Collections, we got the gold everywhere. Gold everywhere. Yay, gold. We like gold. Gold is everywhere. Um, let's get her out of the box. I feel like after a while, you just give up on talking about the box. The box is basically the same. Um. And Lucy's probably outside because that's what I do to get her to settle down. Um... Okay, so first up, I love the wave. It's almost like this like iridescent, is that the word I'm looking for? Like it's almost like this clear blue at the top, like at the bottom it's not, but it like gets clearer at the top. It's really hard to see, but I love it. And then like obviously the shell's there. And she's like reaching for the shell. I love it. Um, hey, hey, not my favorite character. Do I kind of wish it was Pua? Absolutely. But I understand why it's hey, hey, because hey, hey is the sidekick mainly throughout the movie for reasons unknown. I digress. But I love the details in hey, hey, like the big bulging eyes, like it's 3D eyes, like his eyes are literally popping out. Um, and I love that. Um, again, Moana's hair, similarly to Merida, she has these beautiful, beautiful waves and curls in her hair. And we get to see that in this Funko Pop. The different waves that they made in the hair is just, it's, it's um, she has the heart, but you can barely see it, um, which I guess I'm fine with, but whatever, um, her outfit, the top is kind of hard to see the details in because of the hand placement and the waves coming up like it's really hard to see the top in like great detail but it's the bottom it is the bottom skirt that we need to talk about they got hey hey's gonna fall off of this thing they have the straw skirt like they have the grass skirt they have the grass in detail this is incredible because it would have been super easy for them to just go like, yeah, it's there. Um, but to literally like take it and create these like strands that are creating this movement and they're different lengths. 
I love it. It is so hard to see. You can kind of see a little bit. Autofocus is really weird. Um, but it's like, I love it. I love it. It's it's the little details that get me. It's like looking at it from a distance, you won't see the little details, but the little details matter. Um, now, in terms of the base, I complained when Jasmine had the white base. I did. I complained. Um, because it didn't have character. It didn't have personality. It didn't have like depth that didn't have really much of anything but Moana first of all we have the waves like getting bigger as they get to the actual wave part on both sides so from the back we have it a little bit less but from the front it like starts really small and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until you get into the wave. I love that. Um, even like in between here, it's you can't really see it. You kind of can. It's not a perfect like semicircle. Like it's got grooves like waves would. And I love that. But even the white, like it has character because it has dents and grooves and it looks like sand it it legitimately looks like sand it looks it looks phenomenal like it's really hard to tell but there's like bumps in it and it's just it's it's got character so whereas I'm gonna bring her out the jasmine one is just sort of this plain white floor that I wish they added a little bit more character to. The Moana white has that sand feel. Um, oh my goodness. I love this figure so much. I think it's beautiful. Like I said, my only gripe is there's no Pua. I love Pua. Pua is adorable. Um, but we got Hey Hey. And even though Hey Hey's not my favorite, Hey Hey in the Spunko Pop is pretty, pretty, pretty cute. He's pretty, he's pretty cute. Um, Y'all, I don't know. I love this. I love it so much. That is my unboxing of the Disney Princess Funko Pops. Um, I know I've thought about doing this for a while um and I talked about it in the live a while ago of just like how do you guys want me to unbox this and I got a few replies um but I figured you know what I'm gonna unbox them as I get them but I'm going to compile them all together so the lighting's different the hair is probably slightly different the shirt's the same it's still my Lucille Ball shirt for reasons unknown um but yeah, I've basically had them sitting on the dresser, which has also changed. We have added Agatha all along. Um, but yeah, the next phase of everything at some point, I don't know when it's going to happen, is rearranging that because there is not enough room for all the Princess Funko Pops, plus the Marvel ones, plus Asha. Plus I have two more. Um, which I will be unboxing at a later date in a later video. Um, but I have a lot of Funko Pops and so I'm thinking of maybe installing a shelf so that way I can have different tiers of Funko Pops. Um, but we will see. Currently I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, let me know which one of these Funko Pops was your favorite. Um, and let me know what you thought of this video in the comments down below. Mm -hmm.